Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you a story about the Frog Prince. In a land far away, there lived a king who had seven beautiful daughters. But the youngest princess was the most beautiful and the king loved her best of all. Unfortunately, she was also very spoiled and used to having her own way. She pleased herself from dawn to dusk. One day, the youngest princess went into the woods near the royal palace and sat beneath the trees by an old well where it was cool. As she said, she gently threw a golden ball into the air and catched it again. But before she knew what was happening, the ball had fallen into the deep well. The youngest princess was furious. She was very fond of the golden ball. Just then, a little voice close to her ear croaked. I can help you. Only two inches away was a big green frog. I could hop into the well and bring back your ball, he said, if you would be my friend. Very well, said the princess. The frog jumped into the water and brought out the golden ball. But the princess at once ran off towards the castle, leaving the frog behind. That night, as the princesses sat at supper, there was a knock at the door. Your Highness, said a servant to the youngest princess, it's a frog, frog asking for you. Tell him I'm busy, said the princess quickly. I can't see him now. But the king asked who was at the door and reluctantly the princess told him the whole story. A promise is a promise, said the king sternly. Miserably, the princess picked up the frog. Offer I will get some food, said the king, and the princess did so. When it was time to go away, the princess took the frog to her room. Now, lift me onto a pillow. Wow, what a soft pillow. He, the princess could hardly bear it, but she did so as she placed the frog on her silken pillow. An astonishing thing happened. The frog became a handsome prince who sat smiling at her. You have saved me from an evil spell, he said. And before long, the prince and the princess were married. That's all from me now. Feel free to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.